In Colombia, every day we receive news of violence events. Child abuse, domestic violence, the exploitation of nature, conflicts in the cities across our country, and violation of human rights. But at the same time, we also find innumerable initiatives towards peace, which allow us to believe that we can change our reality. Today, the future, it's promising. I see before me a new generation full of an energy fighting for tolerance, love, and understanding. I am honored to have this opportunity to tell my story and how I have been moved to work for others. I am Taliana Vargas, a Colombian actor and model who a few years ago began to understand that life is not the same if you don't serve others. In the entertainment world, it can seem that lights, makeup, followers, and fashion is the most important thing. But when you emerge from that bubble, it's a completely different world out there. There are children that go hungry, young people with no opportunities, single mothers struggling to make it, kids recluded into the drug trade with no other options. Seeing this made me want to stand up and do something. I was born in the city of Santa Marta, which is the northern coast of Colombia. On the outskirts of the Tairona National Park, only 42 kilometers from the Caribbean coast, there is a glacial peak, making it the tallest coastal mountain range in the world. Do you know what that exactly means? That you can be tanning at the beach and look back and see the snow. It is no coincidence that UNESCO named it a World Heritage Site it is an area of unimaginable natural beauty. Let me say again my hometown, Santa Marta, so you can write it down to, <laughs> to see later on more, more pictures about it. However, as is the case with so many cities in the developing world, in 2006 and 16, almost 35,000 residents of Santa Marta got by on less than $40 a month. That's living in extreme poverty right next door to us. As young people, though, we cannot simply throw these numbers around or click share to show our outrage and then get on with life. We have to act. For years, four years ago, I decided to take a leap. It wasn't enough for me to simply sh show my face in solidarity with different foundations or give contribution, knowing that that was it. So I get to work, studying programs that use attractive things like soccer to build a developed plan that could change lives. And that is how Casa en el Arbol Foundation was born. Casa en el Arbol means tree house in Spanish. Since I was a little girl, a tree house for me was a space, was a safe place halfway between the earth and the sky, a place where you have wings and roots and where you can begin to imagine another future for yourself. Casa en el Arbol Foundation began working in Ciudad Equidad. Ciudad Equidad, it's a new social interest housing project where 24,000 people live in various states of poverty. It's just one neighborhood in the city, but it's bigger than a lot of towns. In Ciudad Equidad, children are unfortunately surrounded by lots of influences that bring them down. We began implementing after school programs with 1,000 girls and boys that involve psychosocial support, leadership clubs, soccer and academic support. 
thanks to these programs, Natalia, Juan Diego, and Ivan, at their young age, have understood the importance of working for their communities, becoming examples of disciplines and values to the youngest in their neighborhoods. In working with the children, we realized we realize that to have a real impact, we had to work with, the, with their family units as well. 27% of the, of the homes in Ciudad Equidad are lit by single mothers, and these are the poorest women. As a woman, I want to help empower these women to be better people, better mothers, better family members, and leaders in their communities. So we launched a program, Beauty for a Future, using L'Oreal's talent to train 400 of these women to run their own beauty salons. When we began, many of these women, <laughs> when we began, many of these women thought that they were only built for washing and cleaning the house. But they showed us that they could not only be excellent housewife, but also excellent professionals and even entrepreneurs. Let me tell you the story of Maria, which is very funny. In Beauty for a Future, we don't only teach women how to run a business. We also provide psychosocial support that encourages them to stand up for themselves. When Maria first enrolled in the program, her husband, fearing, fearing um, his power was being challenged, came to throw stones at the hall where the workshops were being held. Well, let me tell you that today Maria's husband is her right-hand man in the beauty salon that she created, and he's the expert with the blow dryer <laughs> because he's the strongest one. Today, Maria and other women like her support their family. They bring home the bacon. They went beyond their comfort zone and started their own business. These women have been tried by fire, and if we as young people only bring them opportunities, they will prove themselves worthy talent and creativity. Casa en el Arbol Foundation mission is to strengthen communities by empowering women. And what matters more, most to women? Their children. They need their children to be okay so they go to work with their minds at ease. Our after school programs mean that they can. Two months ago, we began a new project working in tandem with USAID and Agdiwoka as part of the program of reconciliation, which involved acknowledging the past in order to move forward. We cannot have peace if we are always speaking ill of others, if we don't acknowledge other people's talent, if we keep on repeating gloomy old stories about our countries, the young people acquire skills in media such as radio, YouTube, and journalism, and use them to tell positive stories about what is happening among their neighbors and in their cities. These stories are helping us to build Colombia's new future. I'm sure that many people might think that it must be easy for a famous person to create a foundation. But I'm here to tell you that it's not easy. Any project, any business idea, regardless of who you are or what your position in society may be, it's going to require enormous effort and dedication. I have more days of frustrations that you can never imagine. Like so many things in life, this is a matter of hard work. But seeing the progress in the life of the people we work with make it all worth it. This kind of leadership is the job of all of us, from each of our profession, 
doctors, engineers, anthropologists, actors, architects, we each have to believe that we, that we have come to this world to serve and that we have that capacity. Let's take advantage of one young world, not only to talk about successful projects, but to get going, taking action to make the world and our countries better. Our government needs us to, per to pressure them to make good decisions. Our country needs us in order to evolve and transform. A young person vision can contribute never before imagined solutions to tired old problems. Your effort matters. Your country needs you. If you change only one life, you are changing the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.